Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. I got a surprise for you guys today. After the last episode, I decided I'm gonna break the piggy bank and I'm gonna do a bit of napkin math and I sold the GMC highway truck and with whatever money I still had left saved up, I could finally buy my first off-road truck which is the International Pace Star 5070. And I can tell you guys, I just had such a breeze just getting over here back to the <laughs> this sunk, fallen uh, oil tanker uh, location. And I, I have a great feeling about this. Uh, in terms of upgrades, I got everything that I could that I have available for it. Uh, funnily enough, even though I need level 6 for the rest of the tires, we had the first all-terrain tires already unlocked for the car. Uh, so we could buy those. We got an uh, air filter, which more or less just increases their height, in which the engine takes damage in water by just a tiny wee bit. Still need to buy the short cap once we have that unlocked. And I think that's about it. It only comes with a single engine, nothing else. It's pretty basic. But uh, from what I just played getting it here, it's such a light truck uh, compared to uh, my Fleet Star, for example. It just bounces over the place, even though it's on stock suspension. It's not even the race suspension yet. So, uh, with all that blapper out the way, let's see if we can uh, resolve this situation here. Uh, in retrospect, it might have been smart for me to actually get the flat pit for it. I have the cash, but... <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see if we can winch this out. You are coming with me, truck. I think we can, uh, all of us can see uh, a shift, right? <laughs> In ease. Regarding how... Um, much easier and how less I'm sinking into the mud. Compared to the previous two attempts, which had me going all over the place. Hmm, but still, uh, we made a little boo boo. And this is entirely on fully uh, stuck on the bridge there on bridge geometry less of a problem of off-road the more problem of the actual game engine so let's let's see if we can uh, cheese it just a tiny way bit let's see if we can attach a trailer oh 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 what is that a problem that we I think we, sh we this should be a, uh, I think this should totally be an option for us to attach it the hitch is aligned but I think it's just possible that it doesn't recognize it as a trailer when it's uh, flipped over like this okay so uh, even so I think we nudged it okay for sure now it's nudged <laughs> we nudged it enough so we can actually try pulling it now, and let's, uh, can we try pulling it with, yeah, we should, pulling it with this uh, side anchor point here, just to give us the bit of clearance that we need to drag it out into dry land. And there we go, that's what I call a successful recovery. Let's see if we can actually get it on wheels. Once we get on solid land, we can actually do the fidgeting required for it. Man, oh, I should have bought this. Well, I don't think I could have, or I had the money if I sold most of the trucks. I think even the Fleet Star initially to actually buy this. But uh, I'm glad I actually bought it when I uh, really, really needed it. Let's flip this over. There we go. Brand new. 
Nothing ever happened to it. But uh, this engine consumes a lot, and I mean a lot of fuel. Just getting here and getting this, um, uh, getting this uh, trailer out, it cost us like almost a hundred liters. Sheesh. Either way, attached trailer. Too far away. Okay, let's shimmy shimmy. I knew the hitch was right. I could probably turn off all wheel. As soon as I said that, I easily regretted it. But uh, once we are on firmer ground, we should turn it off just to make sure we have enough uh, fuel remaining to actually get where we need to go, which I think is. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Can we click on this? No, we cannot click on this. I guess delivered to town storage. Yeah, delivered to town storage. Oh, actually, we still have a problem here. I, I thought that we had a clear run, but we don't. <laughs> oh well, let's. This is the reason why we bought an off-road truck, right? So let's give this its full spin. And actually, uh. We'll see once we reach the lumber yard. Maybe we need to go to the fuel station to refuel before actually going to town. But we'll see. Preventively. Absolutely no problem. Oh, wow. I mean, it's kind of early to proclaim this as my favorite truck, but man, this makes an easy job of uh, some of the things I've uh, fought through so far. Sadly, uh, some of the most important upgrades, like including suspension, are in Alaska. Uh, so, if we want to improve this, we kind of have to go to Alaska, but I'm not really sure I'm going to do that right now. But we'll see. We still have a lot to do in um, Black River, Michigan. I did notice this a bit earlier as well, compared, I think, um, the gearings themselves are more aimed towards their goals, if that makes sense. Uh, the Fleet Star, you notice there were some issues in regards to traction and ground and stuff like that, and that truck is more for call, uh, hauling heavy loads, so I'm... and. Compared to this, where, you know, just now we saw that uh, once we uh, had the actual situation where we had no more real traction with the wheels on the ground, it auto-switched a lot earlier down to uh, a lower gear than it, did the, than it would do with the Fleet Star. So I'm wondering whether uh, the game itself, the way this, the gearings are structured underneath, uh, are actually aimed more towards the rolls than you know just simulating the engine performance itself. So I can imagine, uh, and this would be better just because it would uh, switch gears more efficiently for the train under it. I mean, you, you can't ma manually switch the gears, as far as I know, anyway. Um, so having a truck that switches the gears more in line to problems we have. Uh, seems like a really good upgrade, even if it's not like, you know, a straight number upgrade in terms of power or something. The 
but either way this was absolutely fantastic and I'm so sad that I didn't get the, um, the flat bit because I could have done um, and got the gotten the wooden planks for this. Nope. Got in the wooden planks for this as well and done a single road. But I thought, you know, man, I don't know, that, that's gonna that's what's pretty hard. Let's just uh, let's just entirely only get um, the bare necessity. Maybe weight matters, and indeed weight matters, but it's, I don't think the weight is actually mattered matters. Or I'm, Calculated that much for for uh, the accessories for the car. Also, I didn't get any notice or any. Is that a different spot where we have to deliver this? I mean, uh, it, the the thing went off of my uh, tracker. So is that completed? Do I, did I just have to? Push it through here. I was, I was expecting like some kind of a notice or something, but I guess so. Uh, what we have to do now is deliver the stone storage, the consumables, and the wooden planks. So I'm gonna park this here. I don't specifically need it right now. I think it's gonna be a fair bit of time before we actually need oil tankers as a separate thing. trailer okay so uh now what we still have to do uh, actually do we have an option mm, i think this requires a saddle right uh semi-trailer that requires a saddle so we don't have a saddle uh do we have any yeah we have a sideboard trailer here so we can only totally use a sideboard trailer Totally, totally, totally use a cyber trailer. So, um, what are we fuel? Yeah, totally fine. We can totally do two, uh, two runs of this without any issues. So, let's do this. Let's uh, use the cyber trailer that we're getting from this to load up two lumber, two wooden planks that we need. So, we don't have to go back uh, and get another truck out here or, you know, even come back with this truck. Even though it's naked, we'll just. Uh, in um, that cyborg trailer and that would be enough for us to get those planks and for the consumables that will be a separate trip i think because the consumables uh when i'm mistaken come from the warehouse which is in the southern part of the map and that's a total separate trip but you know what you know what guys you know what i'm really excited about we still have that uh, drown truck task uh, drown truck task well that's a that's a tongue twister uh, to, to do as well as the, you know the fuel pump and stuff and it would be great especially now that we have this uh, it'd be great to do it with this because I, I kept dreading because I saw what's there and it was like oh just water and marshy horribleness so uh, now do you actually have the tools for it I feel very confident fuel when you're not using uh, all-wheel drive, so that's great. Too far? Okay, nope, just enough. Cargo management. Uh, in the trailer, load, load, there we go. Two stacks of wooden planks. Wooden planks, right? Yeah. Interesting, but um, I think I'm maybe noticing lack of power, pulling power, with these two, two full stacks of uh, wood planks. Maybe it's just in my head, um, but I do know. I, th I do think I notice uh, lack of pulling power. 
I, I think the fleet served have had an easier job doing this, which again makes sense given its role as a um, heavy truck. And yeah, there is heavy and heavy duty, and I'm not really sure I can tell the difference. I'll probably have to Google that. But either way, man, this uh, Paystar? Is it called Paystar? Yeah, this Paystar has been uh, fantastic so far. I'm really, really liking it. I mean, I haven't even gotten into low range with this. I, hadn't, I didn't have a need. So I can only imagine how uh, well it does in um, really mucky situations. And again, Alaska, part of the reason why I don't think it's wise to go to Alaska right now is that the chain, you know, it has ice, right? And you have uh, the chain tires upgrades, which is like level 24 or something. It's going to be horrible until that point, I imagine. Okay, cargo management. Let's deliver the wooden planks. And... And then, 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 then. We still need two consumables. And where, where do you get consumables from? Oh, from the farm. Sorry, from the warehouse, from the farm. Uh, hmm. You know what, guys? You know what? Let's uh, let's make this a whole thing. Let's head over to fuel station. Let's get some fuel. Not exactly we're running too low, but uh, just to be safe. And then now. Uh, We'll get the consumables, drag them back here with the same cyborg trailer we've used so far. Unless we have some problems like consumables are two slots instead of one slot. <laughs> I don't think so. And you know, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to makes sense of when to use the fleet star when to use this because uh, this can do most of the things the fleet star can again i just hope it has more limitations in terms of you know carry weight and stuff like that so it has to actually force me when i want to you know do like double loads or something to use the um, Fleet Star. Are we heading? No, this is the where the down power line was, so we don't are going that way. Huh. Look at me knowing the map and stuff by uh, I just pure raw human memory. Out. I think we did, didn't we? We did. I think it's maybe just uh, some songs are a bit louder than others. I mean, don't get me wrong, the music is pretty nice, but I think I'd rather listen to the truck itself. Instead of having it just uh, fully overtaken. Uh, right here, right? Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> it says garage right on that. Uh, Tank, and we know we need to go to the garage to go past the farm. Wow. You guys remember we, we had some issues with this area being muddy, but no such problem with the pace star. But 
already this actually took most of my money, uh, including with the uh, flatbed on it. I was left with, I think, 400 credits all and let's see each. I mean, 400 credits and the Fleet Star and the Chevrolet, and that's it. Nothing else. So this was uh, more or less a very balls in investment. But again, the fact that you can sell and buy trucks and uh, gear for trading price and have to actually bother with losing value on it, it's pretty nice. Because I mean, it would be horrible to lose value uh, because you don't really have any uh, reusable, I mean, not, not reusable, but um, replayable, uh, repeatable uh, tasks, so uh, the amount of money you can get in the game is entirely finite, or at least not in the first map, not in Michigan, uh, but I have a big impression that the game has a finite amount of max money you can ever get. That whole section that we did was uh, off of all wheel drive, just <laughs> rear wheel drive. Man, this thing is a monster. You know, to be fair, uh, to be fair um, to the Fleet Star, because this truck had uh, a non locked all terrain wheel upgrade. It's literally this, the first one, and it's, it's strange because. It's unlocked, so when you actually get the truck, you don't need anything else. Uh, you can just get that, and it'll do the job. Because it, by stock, it does come with highway tri uh, tiles, tires. Uh, the Fleet Star is still on highway tires, so um, I'm not. Uh, I may not want to pass judgment on it in regards to overall capability until I actually get the tires for it, which should be uh, I mean, just a few bit of XP. Because I'll be doing level six, and that'll unlock uh, all terrain tires. And I know I've been talking about this for since I started this uh, this series, but I can imagine just how important those would be. So I think a fair comparison would have been to actually get this and use this with the highway tires. But I mean, I didn't exactly get this to fail, right? <laughs> Yeah, you end that even uh, for the Fleet Star, uh, the upgrades now turn me towards Alaska is... Ugh. I'm just kind of hoping that uh, the upgrades are still kind of tiered per your progression in the area. So like if this uh, has three areas, right, three maps, uh, you find some of the earlier upgrades uh, in the first maps, not in the later maps, it makes sense from a game design perspective. Uh, so I'm hoping that the first map of Alaska actually has the upgrade for this and for the Fleet Star that I need and want. Wow, just look at this. Just look at this wonderful, wonderful truck. Also, uh, in regards to manual cargo loading, I noticed there is a flatbed option that actually has an embedded cargo uh, uh, cargo arm handling thing. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I, mean, I was put off by because I mean, I thought I needed two trucks, but if I can do it in a single truck, you know what? It might be kind of cool to do it. If nothing else, just getting that out of the way. <laughs> 
that chunk of steel which I don't exactly even remember where that was from or how it got there but for sure it was not at the um, set there by the actual game it was something like me just unloading a truck or something okay there contract completed thank you this is going to make a huge difference to folks around here time to roll up or search shirt sleeves and get this town fixed up cool you're welcome guy uh, let's do an F4 and see how far we are. We are still uh, around 400, 420, something like that. Yeah, 420 uh, XP from leveling up. Um, do we have anything? Oh, we actually unlocked the next thing, which is materials order. Uh, Deliver to service hub, Smithville down, concrete slab times two. Oh yeah, this actually takes me out of um, out of the area. Well, uh, we still have a bit of time. I don't want to stop this here. It's uh, quite a bit early. Mm, but I'm not exactly sure what we should. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's um, make some space. Not leave that trailer exactly in the middle of the road there. Also. Wait, what? Oh, that... That's weird. We left a trailer, that uh, oil trailer tanker here. I know that those usually ex go away when you finish a, a mission, but it didn't on that mission. So I thought you know, it just stayed around, but apparently not. Also, apparently not. Like, was there like a car there next to the, the trailer? Are these like dynamically arranged to give the illusion of... Uh, you know, life in town, so it doesn't always remain static. Huh, interesting. Either way, let's do the trailer. Let's return this to the garage. Uh, let's put on... Uh, actually, I don't need to put on, but uh, for the sake of... Uh, the fact that I'm, I'm really going to keep it with the flatbed trailer anyway, from now on. Actually, what, what looks cooler? Because the difference is... Actually, I already had to have this bot. Ugh. Actually, I can sell it. Yeah, let's sell it. You know what? Let's get the cyborg bed. Just because it looks kind of cooler. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, but... Uh, uh, I desire to do the right thing. Okay. I'll use it when I need to. Um, why I did this... Was... To... Let's skip some time. Perfect. Uh, we are doing the thing. We are doing the thing. We are finally doing the thing. Um, we are doing the drown truck. It's close enough, so we don't actually have to drive a lot. And I think we have enough time to actually get it out and deliver it back to the farm. Also, um, we also have that fuel pump there which we have to activate. So we'll be doing uh, two things in one turn. Uh, actually, let's also select it. Let's actually select the... Um... Drainage, yeah. Start tracking. excited because we've, uh, we've been putting that off for I think about what six episodes now also we will be going through that uh, horrible southern bend for the first time with this truck so I'm really hyped to see how uh, how well it handles how it handles it because I think we've had just enough of slow starts slow starts through this uh, area It doesn't give a flying... You know what? Wow. Wow, look at this. Just look at this. I mean, okay, I, ha I didn't exactly go through the middle huge thick mud, but still. Wow. Um, also, it's still on the lower suspension. 
which I think would drag through mud a lot more. Through very deep mud a lot more. So that's definitely an upgrade, but that's in Alaska. But, oh my god, just look through this. It doesn't care. Oh my god, this is... I feel vindicated for all the... 10 minutes I spent every time I went through this with uh, every other truck or car. We're here. Actually, no, we're not here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is the point where we should be taking a hard right. Okay. Let's still calculate our route. Uh, Go via tree line so we have some winchable options in case we have any trouble. I said, in case we have any trouble. <laughs> okay, I, I'm hoping it would kind of switch by this point, but it didn't switch to a lower gear. Oh, we were still on rear wheel drive. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, we were still doing that on, on uh, uh, on rear wheel drive. We went all the way there through rear wheel drive and that's absolutely mind blowing. I, I, I don't even think I actually need, really need to use low gear for this here and that's insane. I'm just doing it for, to be safe, you know? That activated. We actually need to go all the way here. Okay, that activated that thing. Now we need to turn our Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I said we need to turn around, but apparently we can't. That's way too deep of a water. Um, I'm sure we need to turn this around all the way. That uh, truck out front first. I don't really trust my rear uh, drive gearing to actually be enough to drag me out of this. But just look at this. Look how deep in muck and water this is. Oh, it's insane. Okay, and that also has a uh, powered engine. Oh, wow. Um, I think I might have just uh, overestimated its capabilities a tiny bit. Let's pull that into, onto solid ground. Let's release the winch. And, well, actually, yeah, we are pretty deep in the muck here. We are slowly pushing ourselves out. Let's see if extra inertia would work. Some extra gear power. We just need to get up on this uh, little muddy patch here, which is happening probably faster than it's been happening in some of my uh, really bad uh, rescues up until this point. I just need to get some traction on that. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Oh, the French lock was off. Bye. Come on, you can, 
do it. You just need to. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's cheat a bit. Let's winch ourselves out. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, let's bag that. Let's keep it on the low range. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's not a big deal because we have a lot of anchor points around here. Let's just get more, more the wheels on firmer ground. Let's handbrake this. Let's drag this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's bad. Because if the engine goes out, we'll have a serious problem. The engine is still fine. Oh, oh no, the engine is not fine. We are now on a ticking clock. Damn. Um, okay, let's pour those out a bit more. Okay, release. If the engine goes out, we'll have to actually drag the weight. ourselves get out a bit. Trying the old uh, wheel wiggle, but that's not really helping us, so let's pinch ourselves out a bit. Okay, good. way outwards is still via this. The thing is, once we get past this point, we'll have no other anchor points, but I'm kind of hoping we will not need them. But either way, let's park it. Let's reach that out. to get a bit out but this is really pretty mucky yeah I think part of the problem there was that I was trying to get over this log Got some uh, traction with it. Hopefully, it will not get stuck in the log. Okay, it went by it. I think I should lose the pressure on the winch and just go via normal truck traction. And yeah, guys, I think we're home free switch to auto that should be enough by this point and yeah we got it out we finally got it out and that was entirely gruesome um you know what i think uh, getting a bit long in the tooth let's see we need to deliver this to the um, to the farm right yeah to the farm um you know what okay We'll have a longer episode today, just so we can get this uh, done. It should be like another five minutes or something. Uh, I try to keep these around the 30, 40 minute mark at most. 
but you know what? Today is a special episode. Uh, so let's... Uh, let's celebrate it. Actually, let's get that closer. It's a bit far away. But for sure, I don't think I could have done what I just did with this with any other vehicle, minus, you know, a heavy reliance on uh, winching. And well, you've got, you guys uh, have been with me until this point, you know, I've done a lot more horrible winch cheesing um, than this. Our little section, which we hate. Let's be safe. Uh, let's not uh, muscle through. Actually, I've I've read somewhere that. Ouch! I read somewhere that uh, you can totally side skip this entire thing and just uh, use the hills here, so you don't have to do this every time. almost not even fit through here oh oh <laughs> most of the trucks i've had could fit through there so okay, let's actually go around because we also have another big truck behind us which we don't really want to try squeezing through that on that uh, pole yeah these poor poles I used them so much to uh, pull myself free wow yeah we're at we're at max speed right now we are at auto 5 out of 5 truck was uh, skidding over the place. Excuse me for a second while I drive right-handed and take a little sip of tea. sip of my uh, gunpowder green tea here. Uh, in case anyone is actually wondering, I'm doing this episode uh, the next day. I didn't have the energy to uh, uh, continue doing another episode after uh, the fail last night plus however tired I was. Where is the delivery? Is the delivery here or there? I think it's there. Nope, it's here. Now that's the kind of muscle wing around here. I think you've said that to me before. <laughs> Those trucks were wedged in deep, but you got them out. Nice work. That was 320 XP, which is, if I'm not mistaken, 100 XP from us actually leveling up. But that's fine. We, there's still a lot for us to do. Um. And yeah, this is the International International? International Paystar 5070. Uh, again, I hope you got... I just noticed that the guy 
in the cab follows the camera with his eyesight and I was like, that's like creepy as all hell. Uh, right, anyways, uh, this was Cosmo. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Leave a comment below if you really, really liked it and what you liked about it. I hope this uh, series of, you know, calmer content uh, is a stark contrast to the very high-pitched whines that you hear in other uh, uh, Let's Plays out there. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.